good morning dear students so today we are going to start with our lesson 11 comparison i hope you have written uh, whatever few written works i gave you to write now uh, in this video i will explain uh, what are comparisons and in english how do we make comparisons okay how do we make comparisons now first the question arises that what is the meaning of comparisons now what what is comparisons comparison is when you are comparing two or more things okay when you are comparing two or more things that we call as comparisons okay now before comparisons we did adjectives lesson 10 adjectives what are adjectives adjectives are those words that describes noun and that describes a person place animal or thing they are noun so those describing words are called as adjectives that tells the quality of the noun they are called as adjectives now we use adjectives not only to describe people okay not only to describe people or place or animal or thing not only to describe a noun but also to make comparison to compare them up hindi mein jisko kehte tulna okay taking one common adjectives between two uh, nouns or more than two nouns and comparing it for example i take this example an elephant is bigger than a horse now here two nouns are there elephants and horse horse elephant sorry elephant singular elephant and horse now what adjective we are taking we are taking the adjective big okay we have taken the adjective big here and we are comparing hum iski tulna kar rahe hain hum dono ko tulna kar rahe hain we are comparing we are comparing the adjective of big okay so this adjective we are comparing and we have come to conclusion after making this comparison that an elephant is bigger than horse understood that means elephant is bigger than horse elephant horse se bada hai so we are comparing this adjective big okay this adjective big between these two animals so we are comparing we are comparing we are taking one common adjective now one thing you have to take care is that in comparison we take only one adjective understood we take only one adjective of both the nouns we don't take two different adjectives we don't take two different adjectives for example we will not take one the size and another the color we cannot compare kya aap iska color and then iska size can you compare it no there are two different adjectives but we will take one adjective that is common between them that is big okay so elephant is bigger than horse elephant is bigger than horse so we are comparing here understood so that is called as comparison hum use kehte hain comparison we call it comparison now in english when we compare when to show comparison between two things we use er we use er form of an adjective you have written this i hope you should take your copy with this while watching this video okay so uh, what is that we show comparison between two things by using the er form of an adjective now here the er form is this one understood understood why we have used double g here this is the one of the rule of english which you will do in class 4th now here you have to just just learn just learn the spelling of big understood in class 4th you will do the rule how to form the degrees of comparison understood you will do three degrees of comparison in class 4th but in class 3 only you will do you will only learn that to uh, show the comparison between two uh, things two nouns we use er form understood and what we have to take care is that with this when we are uh, comparing two nouns we always use than here than t h a n not t h e n 
many of you make this mistake you write t h e n this is wrong you should you write t h t h a n and this t h a n that is when you are comparing two nouns now this sentence compares two animals that is an animal and a horse now coming to the second example amit is taller than arjun amit he is amit and this is arjun now what quality we are taking what adjective we have taken what adjective we have taken we have taken tall understood we have taken tall both the nouns both the boy we have taken the adjective tall now we are comparing ab hum inko tulna kar rahe hain now we are comparing that amit is taller we have taken one adjective that is tall amit is taller than arjun now if i would have taken the opposite of tall that is short so what how will you write arjun is shorter than amit understood i hope you are you are understanding so er here also er form and then and then we have used this than then now some of the adjectives in english you might have seen that we use more now some of the adjectives it's not that we use er form there we use more there we use more here a tiger is more dangerous than a wolf now what adjective we have taken we have taken dangerous understood kaun sa animal zyada dangerous hai so tiger is more dangerous than wolf we are comparing this quality of dangerous understood dangerous is adjective we are comparing this quality that dangerous that tiger is more da- dangerous than a wolf understood this sentence also compares two animals that is a tiger and a wolf now this was the comparison between two two nouns understood two animals place uh, or person or thing this was the comparison of two nouns there what we use we use er form of verb verb uh, adjective and we use this than this than and this than this has to be used agar agar aapne ye use nahi kiya if you are not used this this will be considered as wrong you have to use this than understood you have to properly learn this that you have to use this than here 